spread and still a potential for up to even tennis ball size hail with uh, again that portion of the interstate just to the north and east of Lawton itself. And some uh, blinding rain coming down from Mike Bettis and our Tornado Hunt 2013 team as they are also near Lawton, Oklahoma. You are just looking at the same scenario from ground level. So this is what it's like if you are trying to drive through it. Those windshield wipers are on their highest setting. All right, let's head out, take a look at another one of these clouds around the Lawton area. And we'd love to uh, check in with our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, get some perspective on what kind of thing we're looking at around the Lawton area and other parts of Oklahoma where we have been watching that threat of tornadoes. A little bit of bluish tint there in the background where the rain is falling behind those dark clouds, sometimes associated with uh, some hail or sometimes thought to be indicative of possible tornadoes. Mostly it's a heavy, heavy rain near sunset. We have had a new, brand new tornado warning for Western Illinois. There has, it includes Adams, Brown and Pike counties. There's been a gust reported measured 77 mile per hour in Adams County. So this is mainly a bow echo. There have been some funnel clouds though. So uh, Ellington, Melrose, Mount Sterling and other places, you could get the possibility of a brief tornado as well as damaging wind gusts. Then we hop down to southern Oklahoma and now into central Oklahoma where one, then two, then three supercell thunderstorms are rolling more or less along the same path. So for that reason, they are now training moving along the same path as, as if they were on railroad tracks. So flash flood warnings as well as the possibility of severe thunderstorms with hail at times up to baseball size and even a chance of a tornado. Then there's a fourth and fifth supercell from near Frederick, Oklahoma yet once again and down near Vernon, Texas. So this has been the hot spot today. Now one of these storms about ready to roll into Norman severe thunderstorm. That's the supercell number one Grady and McLean counties Blanchard, Newcastle, the Tuttle area. I've timed this out at about 32 miles per hour coming into Norman right about 8 o'clock central time. Shawnee about a little bit before 9 o'clock central time. So hail, damaging winds and chance of a tornado. Supercell number two off to the northeast of Lawton. It has gone through Lawton, possible tornado damage there. Yet another one coming into the same areas of Lawton, not warned on except for flash flood at the moment, but severe thunderstorm warning for the supercell number two, Caddo and Comanche counties, Elgin, Fletcher and Sterling under the threat for that one. Here is the tornado hunt team. They've been embedded in rain and hail as the hook echo of this storm has been passing over. They uh, were able to move from the south, went right up into, unfortunately did not get a tornado hit them. The uh, supercell though is reorganizing and could begin to produce some tornado threat again in the Elgin, Sterling area and areas off toward the east. These storms sometimes cycle, they go rain and hail dominated and then occasionally will uh, spiral again. This is the storm that's coming up closer to the Norman area. It too is a pretty well defined supercell thunderstorm. It too could produce a new tornado. There's a little bit of a hook right in there and that would be coming toward the Blanchard and the Norman area. Uh, I'm in fact going to take a look at the velocities on this one, see if there is a strong circulation. There is some circulation right in there. You can see some green and red. Uh, and so the green would be toward the radar, which would be toward Norman and the red away. So a bit of rotation there. We'll have to continue to monitor this storm rather carefully. Overnight tonight, Still a tornado uh, threat for Oklahoma and down into central Texas. We have now a live picture out of.